We are finally back to Scarlet and Violet, and we have nine, but kind of 15 packs to open. So this is not a build and battle box. This is a booster bundle, which has six packs inside. It's just a very similar box. And then we have our little blister here. But my girlfriend actually very recently picked up one of these and opened it up. So when I say sort of 15, I mean, we have six opened things in here. So I figured I would quickly fly through them so you guys can see we got this little hollow bunch of reverses because, you know, we get two reverses per pack now. Uh, let's see. I do believe this was the only pull out of the six. We have the Trainer Gallery Don Donzo, I believe. I don't know exactly how to pronounce your name. I think it's Don Donzo, right? I'm pretty sure. Very nice looking card, but I think that was the only pull out of all six packs because this set does not seem to have the best pull rate. I know I'm kind of flying through, but... This isn't really a main part of the video. I'm just looking for the good stuff, but I'm pretty sure that was it. We have another hollow and our reverses there. There's actually two hollows side by side. Huh, interesting. I guess they were kind of shuffled around a little bit. Uh, yep, yeah, seems to be it. Just the Don Donzo uh, special illustration. I think I called it Trainer Gallery. It's not called that anymore. Why is it that every time I sit down to film a video, A, they start mowing the lawn outside, and B, I lose my knife? All right, I happen to have a very dull knife that was sh sitting inside of my desk. So we're, we're going to use this. It still has a tip to it. It's still made out of metal. It should still do the job. They have to start mowing right next to my apartment. It's every time I go to film, man, they, they, they know that it's happening, and they're like, all right, time to mow the, the grass for the 200th time this week. I mean, I appreciate it, but... Let's take this out, and yeah, I think this is the exact same as the build and battle boxes. I actually plan on doing a video on those soon, so I guess we'll find out then. I guess that is different because it has the print on the side. But open this up, and yes, it is just six packs. So let's start off with our first one with our little Gyarados there on the front. And the pack trick should still just be you pull out the code card, and then I decided I'm going to start leaving the energy in because I have a bad habit of accidentally pulling the back card with it. So we have the Shuppet Sprigatito uh, Florigato. I don't know exactly how to pronounce these things' names. Uh, we have the Sojourner. We have the Toad Scroll. We have the Surviper and a Bicycle. We have the Dragon Bike. Dragon Bicycle! Yeah, I guess we're just going to call this the Lawnmower episode. I'm sure you guys are hearing that in the background. All right, next up we have our little Starter Boys here, which is definitely just the best pack art. I'm happy that they did that. They did a little thing for all of uh, the the starters on a pack. Let's pull out our code. Come on, there it is. Uh, oh, I started. I, I <laughs> I'm still not used to it, man. I'm still used to sword and shield. It's gonna be a while until I break that habit, but I think I'm getting better. We have the muck, the Vavilion, the Florgus, the Dini. Looks like a giant, but it's definitely just like a. They pulled the camera down low because those are just flowers. And we have the Quackavul as a hollow. I swear, if we end this with just one pull again, I'm going to be upset. It, it seems like these six-pack booster bundles are just, you get one good card and then a bunch of bulk. Because the, the, the hollows don't mean anything anymore. I, I keep starting to do it. The, the hollows just do not matter anymore. They are guaranteed. They Like, hollows already didn't have a whole lot of value. The longer Pokemon has gone on is the lower value hollows have been. But it seems like, you know, it's been slowly going down and down for hollows, and it's gotten to the point where now that, you know, at least in this set, hopefully it's not going to be the same thing going forward. It just seems that, you know, they're, they're going to be the same price as, like, your standard uncommon, I suppose. Like, God, I, I have to say the average for these hollows is probably around, like, 15 cents. It, it kind of sucks. Like, when we collect, like, for the old sets, um... You know, like base set and all of the, like, you know, the older, like, Wizards of the Coast set, stuff like that. The Hollows are really the only thing you had to look forward to. You didn't have these, like, full art kind of deals going on. And now they're just worth a whole nothing. Uh, oh, we have something. Magnazone EX. Uh, just, just a basic EX, but it is a double rare, as you can tell by the, the two stars down there. I believe all the EXs are considered double rare, aside from, like, the, the full art boys. But this is only my second EX that I have pulled from uh, Scarlet and Violet, so I'm happy for it. God knows what the value is on you. All right, so there's our one pull, all right? We're down to two packs left in this little bundle. We've already gotten our one pull out of the way. So I guess we'll just look at the other bulk. 
Nah, hopefully we get at least something else. There's the code card. I keep wanting... I, yeah, I didn't even do it with my hands, but in my brain I had started to pull out the... You know, three, three to the front, energy out the... Oh, there's something! Florgus Muck. Why do I have to mess things up? We have the Youngster and the Toad Skull! Uh, this is a single golden star. So I do believe that is just a standard. Yeah, so this is an illustration rare. And then the special illustration rares are when it would be like a Toad Scroll EX or like V. Um, I'm guessing V's is dead now. But it would be like a Toad Scroll EX and be full art. And then it would be a special illustration. At least that's the way I understand it. Um, if I had to guess, the special illustrations you can only pull in the rare slot, while this came from the reverse slot. Either way, very nice looking card. It almost looks like the uh, the Lost Zone kind of theming going on here. And on the back, we have a Klefki. Well, two pulls. We're already beating the other box, at least. I'd say two out of five isn't bad. So maybe, maybe the pull rate isn't as bad as I'd initially thought from the first two Pokemon Center ETBs that I did. Let's open, uh, open, show the code card. We have the Toad Scroll again, Sand Dial, beautiful Hound Doom. We have a Fido, a Hypno, the Lawn Mower is getting back near my window again. We have the Silicobra, the Titan, and we have the Psydops EX. Okay, can't complain. We got three duds at the start, and then three hits. We got two EXs, and we got the uh, Illustration Rare. I can't complain. And we have a, a basic fighting energy. Well, cool. And on the upside, I all the you know both the EXs we pulled were not the one that I had pulled previously. But now it's time for this baby. Do you like the light ring obscuring most of what you're seeing here? Yeah, you can even see I leave price tags on things now because I I'm a lazy YouTuber. I can't be bothered to take price tags off, mostly because it never ends up looking that great, and I have to do some work in post and if I do the thumbnails to try and make it look good and because of the the adhesive kind of ruins it, and it's just not worth my time. Except for GameStop price tags, those come off easy. So if you guys want this whole blister, there is a code card for it. And we are going to flip it around, and we have the Hollow Arcanine. Beautiful little boy. I love the hollow effect going on. It almost looks like, you know, some, some someone flicked some water onto a hollow, and it kind of, you know, put... It kind of ruined the hollow, if you know what I'm talking about. I'm sure you guys have seen water damage hollows before. It's kind of like intentionally, artistically, water damage hollow effect. <laughs> Alright, and we have our three packs. The Maridon and two packs of just the starters. I guess we'll do the Maridon there in the middle. And we're going to split this one open. Very clean open on that one. Pull out our code card. Come on, Sony. Show it. There you go. Oh, I, I keep starting. I keep starting. We have the Lechonk, the Flabebe, and the beautiful Growlithe. Going on, we have our Staravia, the Caddy, Katie, uh, Staraptor, Erect Electric Generator, the Flabebe, the Wiglet, and the Quackavol. All right, we got to get at least one hit out of this little blister. Like, we went 50-50 on the six-pack thing. There's only three packs in this, so statistically... We should get one to two hits based on our very small number from the other one. But, you know, I'm hoping for at least the one. So we have the Sprigadito. I, I still don't know exactly how to say some of these, you know, new Pokemon's names from Scarlet and Violet. We have the Fiddle, the Saviper, Houndor, Crocolore, Florgus, Muck, Torkoal, my little boy. Uh, we have Ralts, and on the end, a King Gambit. I still love this guy. He has to be one of my favorite new additions. But he is just a standard hollow and guaranteed. All right, we are down to our final pack before we get to the bonus card of the day. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. It was a bit of a last minute thing. Usually when it comes to my videos, I kind of record them and then figure out how I'm going to release them after. Uh, this one, it's weird that of all videos, this is the one I actually had a preset date for, but it's mostly to spread some things apart. My last video was a really special video. My next one is one that's going to take a long time to edit. So I put this one in here because they, they both will take a long time to edit. This one is being put in the middle to kind of break it up a little bit and to get a more kind of normal video in there. And I realized I was running out of time to get it done. So <laughs> this is a last minute filming. Uh, we have the Torrentula, the Ultra Ball, Esparthia, Arvin, uh, Metatite as our reverse, Defiance Band as our secondary reverse, 
And we got nothing from this little blister. But it's fine, because we still have the bonus card of the day. Oh, Box of Silver Tempest. Please bless us with a good bonus card. These are cards that I buy as singles specifically to go in this segment. I usually forget what I buy by the time I open them because there's usually a lot of cards. Uh, there's still a lot in here. So I just kind of shuffle them around anytime I buy one. This kind of goes in here randomly. So this one is in good condition. It's probably going to be a much more modern card then. Let's see. We have... Oh, that's boring. I think this is one that I threw in here because I bought it, like it came from a, a like a tin or something that I use for filming stuff for YouTube shorts. Uh, I post a short every other day, you guys gotta go check it out. That's boring, we're gonna do a different one. All right, this one's actually sleeved. So whenever I buy these cards, I actually leave them in the sleeves that they came in from whatever card store I bought them from. And in this case, we have, okay, yeah. Um, might seem a little basic to some of you guys, but I actually collect stamped cards. It's a weird sub-collection for mine, and this is a Pokemon League third place reverse Shelmet. This card is from back in 2014. Uh, the way I understand it is you have to actually play in a Pokemon League tournament, and if you place in third place, you get this little Shelmet. God knows that I paid for this guy. I'll him back in the sleeve for now, but I'll probably, you know, I will end up re-sleeving him. Oh, this sleeve actually kind of has some gunk on the outside. It's kind of old, but it'll do for now. But yeah, I love collecting these stamped cards, and I know it's not a first place, but I mean, it's still another stamp to add to the collection. I actually don't think I have any of these in my current stamp collection, any of these Pokemon League, you know, placing cards. So I do have some that have that stamp on it, but they don't have, you know, a, a, a bracket in the tournament. So nice card to add to the collection to kind of add some more variety to the stamps. So if you guys liked this video, click this button down below. I do community polls every other day where you can vote in some very interesting things like this one. I also post YouTube shorts every other day. A lot of times it's pack opening, sometimes it's more interesting things. So if you guys are interested in any of that, click the subscribe button down below and hopefully I'll see all of you guys next time. Goodbye for now.